Hi, my name is Brunton Zeckley, and my strange addiction is face-to-face uh, -face interactions with many goats. I'd say this started in the late 1940s when I met my first cow named Sarah. You know, I decided to buy Sarah on the spot, and then uh, she was taken from me via tornado. I got my next animal here just a few months ago. It was a mini goat. His name was Steven. I'd wake up and I'd walk out, maybe run some laps. I just wanted to stare. I just wanted to stare. I mean, yeah. I just wanted them to see how much I cared. So I'd select my target. Pickle boots? <laughs> there you are. And I would just look. It was a feeling like no other. Look. Like I felt it in my my lower calf. And it was just such a sensational happiness. I hope everybody else out there can experience the same strange addiction that I have today. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Hey, what's going on folks? Today we're building a fence. Yes sir. We're the freaking auger boys. We're getting into the ground one way or another. <laughs> And that's what we're gonna need as far as screws go. All right, there we go. That's a lot. $300 later, and we've rented an auger, got concrete, post, fencing, screws. John, ready to go. Here we go. Oh, and all loaded up. So I think this has just turned into an apology video to my neighbors because it is 11 o'clock at night and I'm about to be drilling two foot holes into the ground and cutting wood. So this is everything laid out, if you can tell. I've got to cut all of these in half, but first I want to get the loud part over with. I've got to start drilling holes on each spray paint mark. So there's one right there. I'm colorblind, so I tend to mix things up. Okay, I see another one right here, which means there's another. I genuinely can, oh, and there's another one right there, and there's another here, here, and then all the way down. I've got a lot to do. I'm not gonna lie, this is a tiring job. It's 12.03, I've got one, two, three, four, five posts in the ground. And then I've got one more hole that I just did there, one more that I just did here. I have to do one more right here, one more right there. And I'm still not entirely sure how I wanna do a post up to the house, whether I wanna anchor it in with concrete or use one of these post anchors. I'm not entirely sure yet. I still gotta figure that out, but I think we've got another like 30, 40 minutes of work. I just turned off the camera and uh, well, I don't know if you can see that, that just happened. That was almost really bad. Almost really, really bad. Six hours later. I got a pair of pliers. I hear you. I hear you. Wow, last night was rough. It was a lot of moving things around. I don't know if you guys can see, but the old fence is now gone. It's gone over here, it's gone over there, it's all open now. But we added a gate, we got the rest of the post done, we added some crossbars, some braces, we got a lot of stuff. The only thing really left to do is put this big metal wire up. Honestly, I'm just happy because it's warm outside. And this is all completed. I still have to do like a new locking mechanism on this gate, but that'll work for now. So this is our gate. That cost about $99. And keep in mind, I don't want to have like a farm or anything like that. I just want some crazy exotic things. Like not things you would keep on a farm. Yes, we do have mini goats. A lot of people have normal goats. See, we have mini goats. It's cooler. But this is about 30 feet by 30 feet. If you want to do this at home, I have a normal backyard. I live in the city. This isn't like something you have to be in the country to do. 30 feet by 30 
30 feet cost around $400 for everything. And these guys are literally living lavish. So starts right here and I've even got it coming off like right here coming up to the wall. That way they can't push through this little slot. But comes down, I've got a top and bottom beam. All of this is cemented in all the way down here. Now we've got our gate and then it goes all the way down that way. So I'm either going to put a gate over there, which they can't get out right here because there's still a fence. But I'm either going to put a gate right there or a shed. The shed would be flush with the fence and go back that way. And then I cut out where the door is. And then I don't know what we could put in there. I don't know. We could insulate it and make it an exotic fish room. I'm not sure. But these guys are having the time of their life. Now, this is where I need y'all's help, but I don't want to get stuff like pigs and things like that. Now, I love pigs, I do, but I want to get something crazy. Like, it'd be so cool to put otters in that pond. It's just really hard to acquire otters, and they get very mean when they're older, but you get the point. And it can be fish, too, to go in there. Like, in the pond, here in just about a month, all my fish are going in there, my big exotic ones. Things like arapaima would be cool, but like smaller arapaima, if you don't know what that is. Well, they're big and ferocious. But you get the idea, this is where I need y'all's help. So let me know. The three amigos right there, they're they're doing fine. Oh, oh, here they go, here they go. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get some cardio in. You would think they'd be scared, but it's like I'm playing tag with them. Oh, see? So dope. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I don't know if you guys noticed, but on this board right here, I put nails like all the way down. We did that for a reason, because that's always gonna stay there. This board, I did it different. I just put I just put screws in here, and that's that that way I can remove this because in the winter they need this because it's cold, but in the summer, really freaking hot, and now it's gonna be in the upper 60s, like for the rest of the year until next winter. So I now have to take this board off and set it on top of here, and then we won't need it, obviously, until probably around November, which is a minute away. There. Okay. And there's already metal wire right here. So now just open a Can you both? Maybe not. Like I was saying. But yeah, there's already wire on here and on the other side. So that is now I gotta change their heat light bulbs out and put in normal light bulbs because they don't need the heat lamps anymore either. But they definitely need some light at night. So we're good. Okay, so these need to go there. So now we are feeding them outside, which I kind of like more. Roxy, stop touching my goat. And I feed a lot of vegetables. Okay, I'm done. I feed a lot of vegetables, like lettuce and stuff like that. And apples and carrots, you know, the good stuff. And I don't want to put that on the ground for it to spoil, so I have one in here so they can have that in there. And then their main food, their grain, can go over there. So we're done with that. Just got done filming my strange addiction segment. Yeah. But all of the fish are doing good. I need to do a water change on this big tank, but everything in here is, I think they're thriving. Where are you at? He's hiding somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, oh, he was right there. But we're gonna do this. You guys don't see me do this very often, but I'm gonna grab a, oh, well that snail's dead. Uh, I'm gonna grab a snail. Come over here, watch. Got it. And uh, yeah, that's what I feed him every day. And he gets very fat off of him. And it's also good for his teeth, but I just constantly take these and I just drop them in there for him. Every other day, I'll probably give him some blood worms. What you haven't seen though, is our Jade Gobi in a little while. Hey, how's it going? He never moves. And I would still love for you both to have babies. If you didn't see the video where me and Victoria rescued goldfish, I suggest you watch it. That's why there's a lot of goldfish in this pond. We just filmed that like the day before yesterday. Although, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. This is it behind me. Look at the new enclosure, the massive enclosure. Should we get a mini horse? Because I think we should. I'm kidding. But no, the fence is perfect. Like I said, comment down below some animals. But this thing is rock solid. It's not moving. Like I said, if you guys ever build anything like this, tag my Instagram account so I can see it and repost it and shout you guys out because I love it when y'all do this stuff. I think a must is I definitely need to get a tortoise for in here just to roam the backyard. Like I can put somewhere over there for it to get some shade, but literally just get a tortoise because I feel like that'd be a dope pet to have. Let me know. And if any of you guys have big tortoises, let me know. That way I can get it. Also, if you want to meet me and my girlfriend on March 14th at the Dallas Gallery, 
Galleria, you can do that. The address is in my description. will be in the food court. And 10% of all merchandise sales goes to St. Jude this month. So everybody go to thefanaticbrand.com and buy some merchandise. Just like this piece of apparel right here, Believer. It's so sick by Fanatic Media. Can you not? Or else we're gonna have another one of these My Strange Addiction episodes. So hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. If you've yet to join the channel, click the subscribe button down below. Join the family. Click the like button. Click the notification bell. Why am I I'm doing this with my hand? And I will catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fanatic. So peace. Now you can't talk. Peace.